Hello and good morning. My name is Matt Nielsen. And I'm Alex Rosa. And we're here at the Gothenburg Learning Center today to talk to you about uh, soybean maturity and stem borer problems. And so this time of year, of course, everybody's gearing up, ready for harvest. You know, they want to get in their field as soon as they can. But uh, sometimes the field not, might not be ready. And so Alex here has got some plants that he'll show you to uh, talk about the growth stages and what we're seeing. Yeah, Matt. So basically around the fields here, not only in the learning center, but throughout the state and the country, we have different maturity groups, different planting dates of soybeans. And we have some examples here to show you uh, some growth stages commonly found around the area. So basically, as you can see, this plant here is pretty green. Uh, it's about R6 growth stage. So this plant still have ways to go before we consider to harvest. But as we progress, and we also have a lot of areas uh, around here that are just like this plant here, where the stem is still very green, the pods are starting to reach that color that we want for harvest, but still, as we make an assessment, this plant is at R7. So uh, it's still too early uh, to actually come in, in with the combine and harvest. Now, this field that we are sitting or we are standing here uh, has this type of plant here in my hand. Uh, as you can see, the, the uh, pods are that, with that really nice yellow brown color, uh, but the stem is quite green. Now, we did some evaluation, we took some, some of this seed and ran a moisture test. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, man, <laughs> this plant here is with 10% moisture in its mm -hmm. grain. So, uh, what are some of those consequences if you don't harvest <coughs> at that time, man? Sure. So, <clears throat> a lot of people would come and probably see the green stem and be like, oh, you know, it's not ready to harvest yet. And so, some of the consequences if you wait too long to let that stem go brown is you can induce shattering. And that can happen through weather events such as a rain or, you know, anything like that. It can uh, open the pod very easily and let the seed out. Another thing that will happen early in the season that can affect when it's uh, later in the season like this, when it's ready to be harvested, is lodging due to a pest called stem borer. Now, Alex, what can you tell us about stem borer? So the stem borer is a pest that can be monitored very early or earlier in the season, right? Uh, starting late June, maybe perhaps until uh, late August, depending on the planting date. But basically this insect or, or its larvae will feed through the stem. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, the stem will become weak enough that yeah. by the time of harvest, if you, like you said, if you delay, mm -hmm. that plant will lodge and you won't be able to pick that up, right? Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there are some ways that we can alleviate that problem, right, Matt? Yeah, sure. So one of the typical practices that people can do is uh, crop rotation, you know. They over, the stem borer can, once it makes its way through that stem, it'll overwinter in the soil. And so if you plant another soybean crop on top of the previous one, you're gonna have the same problem. So if you rotate it to corn, you can help alleviate some of that, <clears throat> some of that headache. Now, another thing you can do is they, uh, not only do they bore or they uh, reside in the soybean plants, but they also can prefer weeds such as cockleburr, ragweed, and sunflower. Now, if you control those uh, weeds pretty well in your fields with herbicides and applications of that such, you can, it's another tool to help uh, really alleviate that problem and hopefully won't see it again or be very minimal so your, uh, so your soybean fields uh, look great. Um, well, that's all the time we have for you today. Um, feel free to shoot us an email with questions or concerns. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video from the Gothenburg Water Utilization Learning Center. For more information, please call 308-537-4500.